Hey everyone, so on today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'll give you guys an update on the channel. I'm walking over to the grocery store today. I didn't have much to do, so I thought I'd go back and actually, truth be known, I'm going to get a cigar. I've been smoking too many of them, as always. Um, it's a little secret I have, <laughs> um, but uh, there it is. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll give you some guys some um, new information on the, on the channel and some recent updates. And with that, comenzamos. So I wanted to send a big thank you to David Webb for writing some really great articles about myself and the channel. And also thank you to Outsmart Magazine in Houston, The Dallas Voice, and Mexico Daily News for running the articles. If you'd like to read one of the articles, I put one of the articles, the Outsmart article, on the Coley B Travel Facebook page. So the link for the Coley B Travel Facebook page is in the link description below. You can check out the article there. Thank you again, David, and thank you to the media outlets that ran the article. I really appreciate it. Okay, so something else I wanted to mention was that whenever you travel all throughout Mexico, the people are very outgoing, they're very friendly. But here in Chiapas especially, it's been, it's been my experience that people are especially lovely here in Chiapas. I went into the grocery store yesterday, I was buying some different foods at the counter where you can get by weight. They're pre-cooked, like different rice and beans and potatoes. I asked if the beans had meat in them, los frijoles tienen carne. And what she said just took me back, it surprised me, she says, no, mi amor. No, my love. As well. How lovely. That's awesome. Thank you. I hadn't heard that anywhere else in Mexico up until here in Chiapas. Also, something that's pretty customary here in Mexico is that when you're in a store and you're leaving, what they'll say is, que te vaya bien, which is kind of like, have a good day. And you kind of, ex you kind of come to expect that when you hear that, it's just kind of like a, have a good day, have a good day. Que te vaya bien, que te vaya bien, que te vaya bien. Even if they're more tired. But here, uh, on one of my previous videos, on the video I was in Tuxtla Centro, you'll notice at the cafe, something else I, I hadn't heard here in Mexico up until Chiapas. The lady at the grocery store called me Amor, which I was very uh, taken back by. I was like, wow, that's very lovely. Um, but here in Tuxtla Centro, in the video when I was in the cafe, she said, que te vaya bonito. Now, I know that they say that in Mexico, but I hadn't heard it in Mexico up until this point here in Chiapas. And it's like, may it go beautifully for you, or I guess that would be the translation, but it's just kind of more um, of a more sweet translation than the have a good day. You know, I thought it was really pretty and worth mentioning. The people here in Chiapas have been lovely. I will not buy sweet bread from the grocery store today. I will not buy sweet bread from the grocery store today. I will not buy sweet bread from the grocery store today. I will not buy sweet bread from the grocery store today. Just so you have a visual, visual representation of what I was just talking about, where I bought the different rice and beans and the lady called me Amor. Walking by it all casually, but this is the place. You can buy all different sorts of foods. And it's where I've been getting my dinner for the past few nights. Yummy, yummy. Okay, so there's Humidor. Ring the bell, gotta wait on the guy. Oh yeah, let's see how long it takes him to get here. Oh, there he is. Why is that? Let's see. To be honest, I have a crush on that guy. Even though I've seen half his, half his face, I'm deeply in love. So my boyfriend's working, he always comes really quickly. Maybe that's why I'm so infatuated with him. Because when he's working, he comes here within like 30 seconds. When he's not working, it takes like 10 minutes, literally 7, 8, 10 minutes to get to the humidor. Hello. He's completely not interested, but that's okay. I don't know what it is, what it is about him, girl, but I love him. Hey 
Okay, so right in front of us is the university and backstory here just a little bit. The day I came into Tuxla, right along this street, this main street here, there was a big demonstration right along this street. And from what I understand, there was a nursing student that went to this university that was working in some of the indigenous communities here in Chiapas and was killed and it was ruled a femicide. Now, femicide is a big issue in Mexico because of the whole issues of machismo and sexism and all those different things and women being killed is, is the uh, terrible result. And it looks like the women students have put up these different messages calling out different people, maybe other students. Walter was a different student that was talking inappropriately to this female student. El Maestro Emiliano Esteves, Esteves, Abusa de su Poder. So it's pretty heavy, it's pretty awesome, pretty cool that these female students are calling out these uh, teachers, Emiliano Esteves, uh, abuses his power and humiliates and greets shouts in class. Uh, well, there's some other ones. There are some other ones about El Profesor Williams me pidió una foto. Williams sounds like a gringo name, just saying. El Profesor Williams me pidió una foto in Messenger. Asked for a picture in Messenger and siempre and is always uh, harassing me. So it's really, I think this is awesome. It's a great uh, demonstration uh, and, and you know, showing of power by these women that they're calling out these individuals in this maybe anonymous way, but very impactful and uh, important way. So more power to them. Okay, so lastly, I'll show you guys where I'm staying here in Tuxla. Go ahead and open the gate here. And it's a little small, actually, but it works. It's a tiny little kitchen, tiny little bedroom. But again, it does have air conditioning, so that's always nice, even though it is kind of warm today, but at night it hadn't really been that warm but i do still turn it on a little bit because i like it a nice i like it to be nice and kind of cool anyway that's going to be it for today thank you everybody so much and welcome to all the new sub sub subscribers to the channel that have learned about the channel from the recent news articles welcome and thank you for subscribing i'll put the link to the facebook page in the comment section down below also a link to the patreon and a new button about if you'd like to make a one-time donation so Thanks again, everybody, for joining. We have the best community, travel community here in Mexico of the Mexican YouTubers. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.